So this is my clone of the Earthquaker Devices life pedal. And I'll show you the story of how I made this and what it sounds like. Enjoy. Alright, so there it is. There's the finished circuit board. Um, and before I wire it all up and test it, I'm going to give you a little tour of what I've done. So, main points I want to point out is that is an LM308 chip, the one that was in the rat pedal. I've got a 5mm LED. Now, on the circuit, it might tell you to use a 3mm LED. Don't use a 5mm LED because apparently, Earth, I've seen on Earthquaker Devices videos, they swear by 5mm um, LEDs. They, they just say they're smoother or, I don't know, they just look better as well. They're just nice, they're big, they're chunky, they look cool. They look a lot better than a 3mm LED, so I'd suggest using those. I've got up here some two Russian germanium diodes. Um, these are... R9K I think they're called I forget what 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 they're called but anyway they're the what they was using the live pedal as well and and they're basically for the octave circuit bit the part of the octave so these have to be octave ma uh, voltage matched so that uh, the octave works I've tried this in a in a breadboard with a, with an octave circuit so I know that it it works fairly well um I've used these green capacitors. <clears throat> they seem better than these polyester ones because they just seem to take to um, cut out the noise a lot better. I've noticed when I breadboarded my other circuit, um, they seem to tend to not let in so much noise. <laughs> then all of my transistors, I've not been able to get hold of the PF5102. So I've used uh, five four, five four eight fours. I think they are. I've got um, for the other ones. I've got five zero eight nines. I've got a five zero. I didn't have a five zero eight seven, so I used a five zero eight eight, which has got a little bit more gain in it. That's also for the octave side of of the the circuit. And I've got the BS one seventy, and that's just for the boost. Um, they're around here <laughs> um, and then diodes we've just used um, the 4148s for clipping that's for the asymmetric clipping and the the other diode clipping option what else have we got yeah just normal capacitors I didn't use um, tantalium capacitors which are used in the rat pedal I just didn't have any and to be honest I don't think you're gonna notice like much of a difference um, in that really um, I'm pretty confident this this circuit works because I've made it before 
this time I feel like I've actually made it a little bit better than than I did last time. So kind of confident that it's all going to work fine. I just want to uh, have the laborious task of putting it in the box now. So what I've got to do is open this up and put this into here so that we have a working life pedal. I've got these these um, blue LEDs. I did want to change them to orange, but I think I only bought one orange one, so I think I'm going to leave that for the moment. I'll just leave them as blue. That's okay. Um, I think one of these knobs needs to be changed to a 50k. I can't remember. But anyway, i got to get this all uh, boxed in and tested. Okay, so we're all boxed up now. And I'll just reveal this. There's the uh, the guts shot, the all important guts shot. You can see it's all wide in there. Yeah, bit of a ah. Uh, well, it's neater neater than the first time I did it. So everything's gone in there okay, and it closes up, and it all works all right, and nothing's too uh, too squished. Um, all looks good. So I'll just run through and give you some sound demos now.
pedal. All done. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.